the wacky like kind of Dutch angle on the other one there they, they call it. Mm -hmm. This is a comic book movie. Yeah, yeah. That's how you can tell when they do the funny angles like that. We really need some uh, some J.J. Abram light. You know what I wish we had now? Some, would, some Metal Gear Solid 4 or 5. five yeah, some like light rays and god rays. 4, four had like the, uh, the, the green and brown yeah. Blacks. Yeah, we need uh, to make it like the Matrix. Mm -hmm. Everything's got to just be green. Yeah. And uh, we need like shaky cam and dust on the lens. <laughs> yeah. And a bunch of other yeah, things yeah. to make it look like a movie. Make it look like a high quality production, like yeah. dust on the lens. Pretty soon, uh, movie directors are going to be doing that. They're going to try to make their movies look like movies. Mm -hmm. Like games make their games look game game de developers make their games look like movies. Yeah. One day, movie developers will make their movies look like movies by having dirt on the lens. Yeah, this is a movie. Mm -hmm. You went to the theater expecting an experience, but you got a film. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what can I say, buddy? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we need, like, uh, tons and tons of stupid quips and a dumb script to make this comic book movie work. All I know is I'm going to get in that ship and I'm going to beat those aliens. Stay frosty. Who's with me? <laughs> hey, buddy, are you going to stay frosty? Well, I'll tell you this. I've said this before, and I think I'll say it again. I've said this a lot in, my, in the past, and I think it rings truer right now than it ever did. It's not often that I say this to a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> What's this fake dialogue? It's just going to go on forever. It's just Michael Bay dialogue. It's just like the Transformers dialogue. It's just like the movies anyway. It's just nine ninety percent of it is someone screaming Optimus. And then Optimus yeah, saying, yeah. The dark is the binding of the light in mm. the shadow of reality. And all of it together is more than meets the eye. <laughs> Optimus! Optimus! <laughs> this Clank. is a four movie straight of the... Yeah, yeah. Clank, Crash, Smash. Oh my god. Boom. Yeah, so, uh... I don't know if you know this or not, but... The Nintendo NX is right around the corner. Uh... In fact, I thought before even making this video, I thought it was going to be announced, to be honest, because so many leaks and rumors were predicting it was going to be announced this month, right? Mm -hmm. And when at the time recording this, we're about halfway through September, which is amazing to me. But uh, the 2016 is almost over. Uh, I'm still thinking it's like 2014 in my head. Yeah. Uh, but we got uh, TGS on the go right now. And then I think we got another PlayStation Experience event in December or something like that. And then Game Awards and all this stuff. So we got a few opportunities for Nintendo to announce it before October. But uh, there are new rumors saying that Nintendo will announce it in October. But I mean... It has to happen before it comes out. I think... I, we know that. Like, there's a possibility <laughs> that they're forgetting this, though. They're forgetting the fact that it has to be announced before it comes out. It's going to be well, announced like the PS4 Slim came out before it was announced. Right. <laughs> you could buy that online before it was announced. Mm -hmm. The PS4 Slim, and they uh, at a TGS, Sony announced it like two days ago. Yeah. Months, like a month after you could buy it online. They're just like they never. Well, that was the unimportant one. They never said anything about it. They just uh. like. Pretend that it didn't happen. Speaking of which, <laughs> uh, I like the uh, I like the design for the PS4 Pro. Yeah, where they just add another layer. Yeah, to and the it's cape. weird. It's just like yeah, I here's like the, that. Here's That's the PS4. Because then here's they the can, PS4 Pro uh -huh, is another cause, one. Because then they can make like the the PS4 Super Pro 
which yeah. has another one. Yeah, and, and then eventually Omega it'll be Ultra Turbo. Yeah, eventually it'll be so long that it tips over. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna play a little game here, and we're gonna have to take off my cool. What I really hope is that uh, the NX isn't just like a Wii U Pro. Okay, yeah. That would suck. I, I'm sorry, I have to take off my glasses for this, but oh my yeah, rad Pro 3D glasses. But maybe, who knows, maybe I'll need these to play the NX, who knows. Don't worry, I've got your back. Do you got a well, little di I, uh, diazepam canister there in your pocket to inject me and get us start fainting? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's fine, folks, he's fine. Mm -hmm. He's fine. He's perfectly fine. He's uh, perfectly healthy. He's Good. perfectly healthy. In perfect condition to be president. He's perfect. <laughs> he's perfect condition to be president of this show. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh... <laughs> So, we're going to play a little game with the NX. It's something I always wanted to do, and it's something I do with myself alone uh, before events and stuff like that. Like, I make my own bingo cards and all that mm -hmm. to try to see if I can, like, get bingo or win. And that's just basically drawing up squares and uh, putting on things that you think are going to be announced and then see if you win. But uh, right now, we're going to play bets with the NX. So, this is the NX bets. And the way this first question is going to work, this is a difficult one, but what date will the NX be formally announced by Nintendo? What is the exact date? The date If you get it perfectly, you automatically win, but for each day you're off, that's the amount, like, that's less points you'll get, right? Hmm. So we're starting at, uh, so, so if I'm closer than you, right, I'll win. Okay. And if you win perfectly, if you get it on that date, you automatically win. Let's see. Uh. And I purposely haven't really thought about this till now. Yeah, me neither. I'm trying to make it fair. I, I want to say November 15th, but that's too boring. Uh, it's a little late. Yeah. Remember, we're six months out from when it's supposed to come out. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's got to be it's just like... But then there's just October. What happens in October? I don't know. Nothing happens in October. I don't it's, know. It's Halloween. You're Everyone's not still busy getting you're, dressed up. You're not, you're not supposed to release the console in March either. Yeah. <laughs> but they are. Okay, um, let's say Christmas Ween, October 25th. That's pretty good. Yeah. In celebration of the birth of Dark Jesus. <laughs> In celebration of the birth of the Jack-O-Lantern. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, here's one. Mm -hmm. Will it have uh, any cross-compatibility with Android? That's so possible now. Yeah. Because Nintendo is making mobile games now. Mm -hmm. And there's rumors that the NX console is gonna have a mobile counterpart. Yeah, yeah. They've been they've been itching to make mobile games for a long time. Okay, now. you're asking the question, how many points do I get if I get this right? Points? Um, yeah, the first one's an automatic win. Oh, okay. Right, remember that? Huh. Um just do it like whose line is it anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, Just yeah. make up some points and then we'll tally it up. 69 points. 69 points, if I get this right. Yep. 69 out of 50. Android. If you get 50, you win. Hmm. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, does it have, will it have Android cross compatibility? So what do you mean? You can play an Android game on it? Uh, not necessarily games. Maybe some, like a some applications. Like maybe the OS will be easy uh, to uh, port Android games uh, to the NX. Yeah, it'll have the. Okay. Are you saying yes or no for the? Um, I'd say yes. Yeah, we can both win. We can <laughs> both should, win. It's possible, to both. it's possible to both win. <laughs> to get the same amount of points. Okay, this is canceled, uh, but it's possible. Uh, 
no more net yes or no questions, baby. Because uh, <laughs> this is kind of messed up. It doesn't matter. It can be messed up. It's fun anyway. Okay, uh, whatever. The my, point's so I think that the NX will be announced October 3rd. 3rd? Yeah, I explain my reasoning. Is that sometimes uh, things are announced at the first of each month. Like October first, like MGS five came out September first, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes things happen at the first of each month. But uh, I also know that Nintendo's financial period ends September thirtieth or something like that. So they probably want to do it early in October to fit it into their next financial period. Yeah. But I didn't want to say first. That's too. It doesn't look right. So I just added two. So you picked the next most popular number three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> October third. Okay. October third. That's and, uh, he's saying twenty fifth. Okay. So you guys, watch out for that. So if we get if we get in November, um, then uh, I would win, and if we get a, uh, a September, then you would win. <laughs> uh, kind of. We'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah. We'll do it in the. Uh, and, uh, well, I mean, that, like, uh, uh, I don't know what you, I don't remember what you said about it, but um, <laughs> if we get it, if we get it right on, then uh, it's an instant win. Yeah. But whoever's closest gets some points. Yeah. Let's say uh, uh, sixty-nine points. Why is this you, time. <laughs> Say your favorite number. <laughs> so if you're one off, you get sixty-nine points, mm -hmm. and then you get less points by that amount of days off. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah. can be maximum. 69 days away mm -hmm. for it to not count. <laughs> it's so <laughs> stupid. Okay. What will be the first game besides Zelda Breath of the Wild that Nintendo announces for the NX? <sighs> Nintendo announces it, not a third party. See, this would be a good opportunity to uh, tie in with the Android thing and uh, announce uh, Super Mario Run. Uh, but that game just doesn't work on a console. It's a one-button game, so I don't know about that. Unless NX has a mobile section that you pull over the controller or something. <laughs> with the hybrid hmm. rumors. Yeah. I think that... See, if the game was a little more console friendly, then I think that would be a great idea, and I'd be for it. But um, and maybe not. I think uh, what will be the first game for the NX announced by Nintendo, uh, other one. than Zelda? Here's one: Animal Crossing New Leaf port. Is that what you think it will be? Am I going to lock that in? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm working from zero, so... Might as well... Have, have, might as well try and be quirky. Have some fun here. If it was... If it could be announced by a third party, I could be really safe and say Just Dance. Because <laughs> Just Dance is announced for every console before yeah. the console is even decided on what it's going to be. Uh-huh. Uh, it's on everything. Uh, ah. Will Sonic Mania come out on the, the NX? How many points is that? Uh, it doesn't sound like it's going to be a high pointer. Okay, uh... 32 points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you got these funny numbers just to make it harder for me to calculate. <laughs> Alright, uh... Yeah, it's coming out in the NX. Are you going to say yes? Oh, uh... I mean, for God's sake, of course it's going to come out. Yeah, That's yeah, a dumb yeah, question. Is. All right, you just gave us both 32 points. Okay, okay. good job. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the first non-Zelda NX game mm. is going to be... Splatoon NX. Fuck! Isn't that a good idea? Damn it! Oh, God. Of course there's going to be a Splatoon port. 
Jesus Christ. Yes. <laughs> because <laughs> split, remember they're uh, porting Mario Maker to the 3DS. Yeah. That's one of the great Wii U games. Yeah. yeah. So now, what are they gonna do with Splatoon? Of course it's gonna be on the NX. Haha! Uh -huh. I'm probably gonna get that. Yeah. yeah. And since I asked that question. I'm gonna make it worth 40 points, because that's harder than Sonic Mania. Okay. Of course, yeah. it's gonna be Sonic, Mania. and it's not as hard as whether or not it's gonna be Android cross compatible. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, will the NX have a handheld component that you can take away with you to play NX games on the go? Imagine taking the Wii U gamepad out of the house, is what I'm saying. I think that was the original concept. Will it have it, though? Uh... Now, it's just a rumor that it's going to have it. Now, let's see, let's see. I think that some games will be incompatible with the, uh, the mobile sort of mm -hmm. system. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking, does the hardware have that capability? The hard, the hardware will have that capability. You realize how amazing it is that we're sure that's going to be it, and it's well, such an amazing thing. It, like, isn't that funny? Like that we we think very strongly that that's going to happen, mm -hmm. but yet it's still a rumor and it's so strange. Oh yeah, yeah. Huh? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's it's kind of wrong, it, but... You think about it, like, a console where the controller is a handheld. Yeah. Like, that's been rumored for the NX for so long, but it's still a rumor. But yeah. we're all taking it as fact. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. actually expecting it. Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> well, it's the first thing you heard about it. Like, I know. We it's are... just, it takes... They're taking so long to have it come out. Yeah. That people are building up so many expectations. It's like No Man's Sky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to say yes, of course. So, mm -hmm. but that's such a oh normal God, one. Boring. This is going to be okay. That nine points. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's garbage. Um, you ask one. Yeah, th this is terrible so far. We got six yeses here, and uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway, come, uh, up, come that's up with the non yes or what no. I mentioned before is my question. Yeah. Um. How do you come up with a non-yes or no? I don't know, but it's it doesn't matter. It's fun anyway. Whatever. Because whatever. Because now we got something you're, to watch for when it's announced. We're gonna be excited. It makes it so much more exciting when you got something to, in your hand. Yeah. With yeah, the yeah. announcement going. <laughs> Here's mine. What? Uh, will there be? Uh, will the TV system? Um, have exclusive software. Hold on, hold on. Here's here's a non yes or no question. Uh, there's three options here. There will be no exclusivity. Um, the TV portion will have exclusive games, and both will have exclusive games. The latter is kind of weird, but you know still what? Knowing yeah. Nintendo, you know what? Yeah. There'd be there'll be no exclusives. There'll be no exclusives. I think that would really shake things up a lot. I think it would look stupid if you shipped them with a handheld that didn't do anything with the console, like you couldn't take the game with you. Yeah. I think because mobile technology now, like with the new Tegra chips and all that for mm -hmm. uh, phones and all that, they can, you know, approach Wii U levels of graphics. Yeah. And beyond, right? Yeah. They're that powerful now. I think that what you might see happening is there'll be no TV exclusive games or handheld exclusive games. But what will happen is if you play the game with at home with the TV mode, the game will be on ultra settings. And then oh. when you take it on the go, it'll be on low settings. But yeah. it'll be the exact same game. I think for that very reason, there'll be a handful of exclusives that'll come later. Okay, so you're going with exclusives. Like what we had with the with the new 3DS. Okay. So you're it's saying... The same, the same idea. 
Like how Hyrule Warriors has two settings, and uh, say like a uh, Xenoblade uh, doesn't. Okay, yeah. It's exclusive, so. Okay, uh, so you asked that question. So, how many points is it worth? Uh, I think it's sixty. Nine. Don't say sixty-nine. You can't say sixty-nine. Uh, Come up with a better number. Forty-four or something. Forty-eight. Forty-eight points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, man. All right. Uh, okay. Um, it's interesting that we're so sure there's going to be a handheld section that now yeah. we're betting on whether or not there's going to be exclusive to the handheld section. Yeah, right? yeah. We're that well, sure. That's what bad. else are they gonna that do? That depends on the other bed. What are they? Gonna, <laughs> what else are they gonna do? Make another piece of shit that no one buys? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Not do anything different. I know Nintendo was so entrenched in the idea of two screens now. Yeah. They've had so much hardware with two screens well, now. They don't know how to not do it. They. They. Yeah, and that's why they have to go the extra mile now. Okay. Uh, Make something that's interesting. Will the NX console? be 4K ready. Ooh. PS4 Pro and the Xbox Scorpio are 4K. They're 4K hardware. But will the NX also be 4K? Oh. Uh, let me offer a re revision. Okay. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you don't mind, Your Honor. Uh, I find that highly unorthodox, but I'll allow it. Which maximum resolution will it have? See, what is the highest resolution? Yeah. Because we know the... Uh, the handheld or the TV? Ooh. Or which one's highest? Well, maybe that can be a different question. Um, I, I want to steer away from the handheld the TV's gonna be the highest, no matter what. You know what? Uh, what's your What's your answer first? Okay, I think though. What's the highest resolution of the sport? They'll both have exactly 1080p maximum. Okay, you know what? I don't. I think the handheld's gonna be 720. Fair. I don't think Nintendo's at that point yet. <laughs> they don't know what that is yet. I don't think, yeah, I don't think, year. I'm not fully sure Nintendo gives a shit about, at all about 4K yet. Yeah. They don't understand, like, I don't think they're going yet. to, yeah. And I asked that question, that question will be worth 27 points. Alright, perfect. Any higher or any lower, I would have. Yeah. Shot him in the face. <laughs> I would have immediately quit the channel yeah. forever. Uh, I would have trashed the place. <laughs> oh I would have destroyed the camera. <sighs> Knocked the camera off its thing, smashed it into the TV. That's it. Mm. We're done. So you got one? Alright. Uh, just well, do what I do. Just start talking. And then figure out what you're going to say. <laughs> it always works for me. Um, <laughs> You're just trying to pretend you have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't have an idea. Whoops. There was a rumor that it would be modular. Oh, my Will God. it be modular? Will I be able to add things down the road to the NX to increase the power of the hardware? Uh huh. No. No. I don't think Nintendo does. Nintendo usually doesn't lead in hardware power concepts, they lead in innovation. Uh, so you're going to say yes or no? No. Okay, what's that worth? Uh. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. Okay. It doesn't matter what it's worth, but it could be worth any number you want, because we're both not going to get it. Yeah, yeah. 128 points. Wow. <laughs> That's the big one. That's, That's two a big times fish. 64. That's the big bass right there. <laughs> Uh, okay. The big boat bass. Yeah, that's your big boy. Uh, will the NX be available 
in red. Right out of the gate, no. Right out of the gate. No? No. Well, I'm going to say yes. Because, uh, Nintendo changed its logo recently. They used to have a red oblong shape with Nintendo in it. Mm -hmm. Now they have, uh, a red background and a white Nintendo logo. Oh. So they changed something. That's why smart I just kind of thought. <laughs> smart man right here. Well, well, smarty pants. Smart child right here. He looked at I stand by going to shoot him. Alright. Uh, and that, since I asked it, that one is going to be worth 19 points. Ooh. Mm. Will it have open GL support now, my master? No yes or no's. Okay. Uh, See, no yes or no's makes it harder, so you have to be worth more points. Yeah. Because you have yeah, to yeah. guess some specific thing. Right. right. Yeah, and yeah, as we can see here. Yeah. With the uh, modular being 128 and resolution being 27. Ah. What genre would the uh, store background music fall into? <laughs> That's so subjective. I can't answer that. <laughs> okay. It's uh, probably going to be jazz. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's too subjective. I can't okay, answer yeah. that. How, how is it subjective? There's... Well, okay, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be kinda, too... It's going to be elevator music, so you can't yeah. really tell anyway. Yeah. And I could cheat by saying, like, uh, synth wave or something. Um, well, uh, ah, what shape will the logo symbol be? What, the NX logo, what shape will it be? Yeah. Like, we're not talking about this. We're talking about this. This. Mm. Uh... I think it's going to be a... a uh, elongated oval, like the Nintendo logo. But beside the word Nintendo, inside the oval, will be the name of the console. Ooh. I'd say, uh, a triangle. A triangle? Yeah. Is there any console with a triangle logo? No, that's what I'm saying. Okay. What's this question worth? You asked it. Okay, uh... This is pretty hard to guess, so you might make it worth a lot. Yeah. 299. No, that's too high. Okay. 199, uh... No, it's still too high. <laughs> okay. Uh, 99.99 points. No. What? Okay. okay, you know what? It's worth 80 points. 80.99 points, then. Okay. No, no, uh, 79.99. Alright. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> so now we got points in there, that's weird. No, you got .99. Alright, uh, I got one for you that's good. What will be the exact manufacturer's suggested retail price for the NX console as announced by Nintendo in U.S. dollars? U.S. dollars? Yeah. So basically when they announce it. Not what it's going to cost here. When they announced it. The price of the hardware in US dollars. MSRP. What is the exact price? Okay. We know for a fact that uh, $600 uh, has a stigma on it. Mm -hmm. So it's... They're not going to go that high no matter how powerful the console is. Four ninety nine. $4.99? Yeah. I'm guessing that the NX console at announcement will have an MSRP of $349.99. $349? Yeah, it's going to be 
This question, since it's an exact guess question, they're trying, not a yes or no. They're trying something different this time. I'm saying this question is worth 55 points. Okay. Would have the virtual console. Yes. It's kind of easy. But well, will it? <laughs> <laughs> will it have virtual console? For some reason, you're making me, with those sunglasses <laughs> on, you're making me believe that it won't. <laughs> Well, we've all seen the footage. <laughs> Check the tapes. Check yeah. the tape. You'll yeah. find out. You'll find the truth. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's uh, going to have VC. Okay, no, yeah. it will not. No? <laughs> no? Yeah. <laughs> What's that question hey, worth? Head on over to my office. Check the first desk drawer. And then talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, what's that question worth? Um, twenty-four dollars. Twenty-four dollars. That's worth. Okay, I'm gonna guess that that's points. Uh, okay, now it's time for uh, the dream bet. Okay. Oh yeah. What is? If you get this right, it's a hundred points. Okay. Right. But it's got to be really beefy. And it's, what is your one dream thing that will show up in the announcement? The one thing you want more than anything else. Hmm. Remember, if you're wrong, you don't lose anything. But if you get it, you get the full hundred points. That's going to put you up really high. Okay. This is kind of bland, but... Well, I'll be I, I'll be the judge of that. If okay. I tell you to beef it up, you gotta yeah, beef it yeah. up. Uh, new mainline Mario game is a launch title. Beef it up. Okay, but that's what I want the most. Beef it up. <laughs> uh, absolute cross compatibility with DS. What? And 3DS. What? No, no. What? Just 3DS. <laughs> Just yeah, yeah. Cross compatibility with 3DS. Yeah, absolute. <laughs> no beating around the bush. <laughs> Why does that work? Just like put in the game and what? you play it. Alright. Huh. So you can play the Mario Maker 3DS version <laughs> on the NX? Yeah. Yeah, Will and you be the able Wii U version. <laughs> <laughs> so like, the NX. We'll be able to play the Wii U and 3DS versions of uh, Mario Maker. Yeah. That's pretty stupid. <laughs> but it will. Oh. Absolute. Certainty. <laughs> absolute certainty. I can say this with absolute certainty. You got the insider fact. Mm -hmm. You got the docs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got the tapes. I got all the tapes. <laughs> Check the tape, Chief. You know, uh, last E3, uh, you know how Reggie's eyes just looked a little off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is he a human? Just, <laughs> <laughs> just looked a little weird? Well... Just, I, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, keep looking at the skies. <laughs> keep, keep your eyes on the skies, kid. Hmm. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's, exactly. all, that's all I'm saying. That's all I can say. That's all I get. It's all I'm allowed to say here. They'll shoot. I mean, uh. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. You're, you want mainline Mario 3D game on the announcement and 3DS cross compatibility? Yes. Binary compatibility. Just. Uh, no emulation, just like. Bam! Okay, yeah. Pure data. <laughs> to the metal, or whatever they say. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, don't, don't include no emulation. That's, that's, uh, it's not part of my, uh, <laughs> it's not part of my bed no. at this point in time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my dream is when the NX is announced, now you can you can uh, use the beef up veto for this. Yeah. You can veto it and tell me to beef it up. Oh, I will. <laughs> you bet on it, buddy. You bet on. It. 
You can just see beef into infinity <laughs> until it's impossible, but yeah. uh, when the NX is announced, beef it up. <laughs> when <laughs> the NX releases beef. on the day it's announced, Woo. beef it up more. The NX comes out the day it's announced. <laughs> beef, beef it up. more. <laughs> beef. Beefcake. The NX is out now. Yeah. <laughs> just, I can't beef it up the more NX. than that. Okay, okay. Just I'm going to go online and I'm going to check to see if the NX is available for purchase right now. Yeah. And if it is, I get 100 points. Uh, no, that's not my bet. Uh, Olé, bring in the beef. Olé. <laughs> is that how they do it at Taco Bell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the cow comes in and you no, get to they, slay your own cow. No, they bring in a wheelbarrow of... Uh, of like um, ground beef, like with with like a cow's head attached to the front, <laughs> making moo noises. And everybody where's, cheers. Where's and throws the beef? Where, where's the beef? I don't know. Needs more cowbell. Yeah. Uh, at the announcement ceremony for the NX, Metroid Prime Three Dread will be announced. Ooh. Ooh. You're overstepping your bounds. I don't like that. I don't like your attitude there. I don't like the way you said that. Should I beef that up? I think you should beef... No, no. You shouldn't beef it up. That's insane. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. I'm an absolute madman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my bet, though. Alright. That's what I want more than anything. Alright, so the winner, when everything is tallied, will be presented with Whoa. this 1987 Pet Show Award. It says Pet Show on there. 1987. You will be presented with it. You won't keep it. But you'll be presented with the award, at which point you will place it back where it came from. <laughs> but you will be presented because with it. Because it is mine. <laughs> because it is mine. But you will be presented with it if you win. And if I win, I get to keep it. <laughs> okay. If you win, you get to be presented with it. Perfect. Sounds perfect. Yeah. So. Let's do it. At such time as the NX becomes announced, we'll have the award ceremony for this thing. At, at, at which point we will read off the points, tally it up, and see who won. And the winner will get that. The loser will have to play on video Battletoads on the NES for two hours straight and record the thing. Alright. On NES, NES hardware. Because yeah. we have it here, and we haven't played it yet. Yeah. But you'll have to do it for two hours. Yeah. And you'll have to be playing. And you'll have to be playing. Because you'll lose. <laughs> but we all answered the same... We both answered the same question. So we'll see who wins. We'll check the tapes. And we'll figure out who won. Yeah. On October 3rd. This is when it will be. You think it'll be on October 25th, but we'll see. It'll be October 25th. Like, what, three? I think they've, I think they dropped the, f the three for good. October 25th? Really? You think I'm lying? Because let me tell you this. I don't say this often. But I don't say this often. But I also don't say this often. But I don't, I don't even know. Can we even see you from that other camera? <laughs> no. Are you behind the thing the well, whole time? I, uh, I tried to get myself in there sometimes. Oh, that's fine. Who cares? Whatever. Yeah, so that's the video. What can I say? The camera loves me. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you can just say anything. <laughs> you just say something, you take it off, you say the rest of your thing, and you are a badass motherfucker. Yeah, you put it on, take it off, transform. 
absolute. Well, this is Blasto on the PS1. Uh, is it running? Did you do something? <laughs> I don't. It's trying to get back to the menu. Uh, I think we played a demo for this. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh actually, yeah, I think we did that very disc. Yeah. Perhaps. No, we didn't do this disc because I just got this at a yard sale a few weeks ago. No, I I mean the the one with the demo on it. Yeah. 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 Let's go to options first. Check this out. Sound. Controller. Credits. Load. Oh, well, that's... hey, at least we got saving. That's good. Yeah. What's this? That's back. Oh. Okay. That's just... Well, it's good to know we can save it, but... Some PS1 games from this era you couldn't even save. Yeah. Alright, let's check it out. Stupid looking planet. With massive craters on it. Mm -hmm. For its size. Perfectly inhabitable. For evil folk like us. Yeah, here's evil land, of course. Look at those, like... Five minute models. More five minute models. <laughs> and here's a room that took like four months to render. Grovel, grovel, grovel. Yeah, these are not really imaginative. <laughs> like, I mean, aside from the modeling work, they're just not. They're Pikmin. Yeah, no, there's not a lot of thought in it. They're, they're Pikmin, though. Yeah, they're just kind of like Pikmin. Just like a little man with a little stick on their head. No, they're literally Pikmin. I know. And their symbol is a skull. It's a show that they're a humanitarian uh, <laughs> company. Why, why is it that you want to make someone evil? Put skulls on them. They're evil now. Well, they're evil because of the things they do, but the skulls don't help. <laughs> they don't help. Yeah. We're just assuming, by the way. We don't know. What if these guys are the heroes? You didn't see anything happen yet. Ooh. Look at this guy. What the... This guy's shit. Oh, man, why is there... Everything's clashing. Yeah. Right here. I don't know what's going on. It's Blasto. Yeah, it's Blasto. I don't gotta explain shit. It looks like his hair is his head. Yeah. And that's moving around, talking and he stuff. He looks like Earthworm Jim. Yeah, I know. Well, this is kind of post-Earthworm Jim kind of era stuff. Mm. Back when you could make a uh, mascot platformer. Mm -hmm. Like this guy. Without any real basis for gameplay first. You design the character first and then figure out what to do. Yeah. I... Kind of like you were making a cartoon. Right? Well, I mean, this is like... This particular thing is like the easiest thing in the world to make. Mm -hmm. Just like parody cartoon thing with a, a triangle-shaped man who, who kind of says funny stuff sometimes. But you don't have to be that funny because, the, like, the humor sort of speaks for itself. It just, uh, it, it's greater than the sum of its parts, you could say. They don't even need to be that funny. Welcome to Uranus. Mm -hmm. Alright. Look at that spaceship. Yeah, man, that really looks like a spaceship. Whoa. Yeah, this blast of Um. Huh. This place just has gravity. Look. And look at the square, like, Ugh. around his body. Yeah, what? what is that? Is that the exact square where uh, polygons won't be cold anymore? <laughs> like, they'll actually form? Or something? Like, what am I seeing? Well, it, it probably has something to do with this shadow, which is pretty good. Yeah, he's got a good-looking shadow. Mm. 
Hmm. See, this is. Uh, what well, will other objects cast a shadow when that when they're in that square? Uh, oh, let's like, try to put an enemy in it. Yeah. Because I think the shadow, uh, the the square around his body is just no. Uh, they won't. Uh, it's just him, I guess. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well. I I think that's like the the border of the sprite that's generated to uh, mm -hmm. create a shadow. Uh, oh no, it isn't there when you're on a platform. Or maybe maybe it is, I don't know. Hmm. What's going on here? Like, Ah, let's get some pizza. <laughs> That's what I thought too when I saw it. I thought it was pizza. Uh, Can I destroy this? Where no. are we? Like, I mean, are we just in space? <laughs> like, I mean, how... See, this is what why... What is this? This is why this kind of thing is What's easy to What's below you? Is that water or what? Oh yeah, what the what, shit? What's are we on the? Sur what's that place? Over there, on the right. Hold on. Oh yeah. That planet. What the? Okay, well, I thought this was Uranus. Oh, there's some down here. There's a. So uh, where? Oh, that's where this elevator leads to. Yeah, where so. are we that we can see these things? <laughs> Our ship is just like... But see, th this is why this kind of thing is easy to make. Because look, you can just put lamp posts yeah, floating, floating in space. Yeah, it's a Sonic Adventure idea. Uh -huh. Except Sonic Adventure doesn't bother doing it in space. They just do it on land. No, everything's floating, guys. It, well. it's, it's like, it's this is a Jetsons future. Uh, where you don't need to explain anything. Because uh, like, science is indistinguishable from uh, magic at this point. Yeah, I believe Arthur C. Clarke said that. Yeah. So it's sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And it's true. Now we have the Jetsons. Yeah. Uh, it's just laziness. Yeah. I mean, your ship is just the laziest... Oh no, a babe! ...laziest thing. Like, uh... It's what sci-fi authors thought spaceships would look like in, like, the 10s. Like, 1915 and stuff. Basically, an over an over designed rocket will somehow take you where you need to go in space when there's no reason to be shaped like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I sure do love platforming at like 15 frames per second. If I was uh, designing this game, I would have made it so his rocket ship flew upright. Like, it never went forward with the point facing where it needed to go. It just stood straight up and flew around uh -huh. in space. <laughs> yeah. And so it landed vertically and took off. And, yeah. yeah. It's just a little tower that flows around in outer space. It'd be great. <laughs> and it's got some kind of magical propulsor just kind of on the back side of it that just moves it. Mm -hmm. And just floats around really fast, but up, upright straight. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, look at my back walk. Woo. What's this? 200 terawatt charge up. I think that's a tetrawatt. Oh, tetrawatt. I don't know. Okay. Get, get one again and we'll see. Is that another wave? Oh, here's a... Uh, Lock and burn heat stick. I couldn't read that. I don't know. Save. Yeah, whatever. What's going on with this design? It's like you can save in the middle of a level, and what? It maybe it has a persistent world. <laughs> Maybe this yeah. is all there is. This is an open world game, folks. Do not press that. Aww. Whoa, it actually yeah. kills you. Huh. I'm not supposed to press it. That's what it says. It's a, it's a self-destruction button. Mm-hmm. Now the demo uh, started off in like a cave sort of area. Yeah. Um, and I kind of prefer that as a first level to this because uh, this is giving me uh, 
Bubsy vibes. Yeah, I mean, it runs a little better, and the platforming is a little bit more on point, but mm. it's, it's Bubsy-esque. Yeah. Huh. What would be a platform game without platforms, though? I bet that's how he talks. <laughs> yeah. I bet he's talking about, like, I gotta, I gotta get some points. Oh, I got to, I think he, uh, uh, what was, what was, uh, what's his face's name from, uh, Ratchet and Clank? The, the hero man. Oh, uh, Quark? Quark, yeah. Yeah. I think he talks like Quark. I always liked him. He's great. Well, he's the same sort of, uh, spaceman, uh... Captain Space. Captain Space type, yeah. I want to be someone like this mm -hmm. someday. I want to be like a big, top-heavy, buff Captain Spaceman with a, a long, flowing, uh, blonde lock and, of hair in the front <laughs> yeah. that's flipping around everywhere and a big ray gun thing. And I want to go around in space with no spacesuit on mm -hmm. and w in a dumb-looking rocket that doesn't make any sense and I want to get some babes. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. what I want to do. How come I can't do that? I want to go wherever I want without worrying about how far away it is. Uh -huh. Or how fast I need to go to get there. I just want to go. Yeah. Can we do that? You don't have to worry about, like, social media and Twitter and, and uh, using the word literal all the time. <laughs> I only got to worry about ray guns and, and, babes. and babes that are green or something <laughs> yeah. on some planet. Yeah. Exotic babes. Yeah. They're, they're the best kind. With three boobs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I gotta worry about. Because I'm Captain Space. I won't accept anyone with less than nine boobs. <laughs> I'm too far gone. I would write the game like that if I was but see, doing like, it, but I probably didn't yeah. want to. People, people in this day and age are the same way. Uh, like, they won't accept women that have beige skin or, or like, have... <laughs> only two boobs, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that's for a completely different reason. It's just because of the internet. Yeah. Oh no, are I we only, in uh, pub area? I only like women with fur on their tails. <laughs> no tails without fur. Please? <laughs> uh... I need a woman with a brain that won't stop. Huh? <laughs> you got a... Ma'am, you got a brain on you that could sink a ship. <laughs> well, thank you. Now get in my spaceship. Well, I saw your dating profile and I didn't quite understand what it... saying what it means. So I just wanted to... Make sure you had the right idea. Miss, does your back hurt lugging that big head around? <laughs> well, I do try to be 2D. <laughs> your head's looking huge today. Do you work out? Yes, I do try to stay in shape. <laughs> Some alien race of women with head muscle. That yeah. They work out and their head gets gigantic and meaty. You got a meaty head. Well, I do train my vagina daily. It's on her head. <laughs> it's on her head. Yes. <laughs> when they have a baby, it's born inside their, like, brain cavity. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> if I was making a... a platformer like this, I would have called it Busby. B U S B Y. Look at this, the save point right next to the exit. Hmm. So if I get a game over, will be I will I be kicked to the title screen? I don't know. Ow. You gotta break down that door, I guess. No, I Busby. I it's misleading, but the ones that flash don't actually uh aren't breakable. Hmm. Look at this pop in. Man, the PS one had a hard time loading anything. Yeah. 
Look, the PS1 3D game worlds basically ended 20 feet away from you. And that was the whole world. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe you gotta do that to open the door? Mm, I don't know. Look at that planet down there with two mini sub planets on its side or something. Oh, yeah. What's going on down there? How come in the 90s, like, a lot of comic book characters had, uh, like a headscarf thing that doesn't cover the top? Like a thing that goes around their head, right? And it's just a tube. And it it's enough for to show their top of their hair and sometimes their ears. Yeah. You ever notice that? Yeah, that's easy to draw. Like, yeah, is that why that started? I don't know. Like, a lot of characters had that, like, in the Rob Liefeld kind of era. Like, it was just like a tight thing around your head, and then the top of your hair was long and flowing. But yeah. just the top. Just, was that just cool to people? Like, did they think that was cool? I don't know. Did people try to do that in real life? <sighs> uh, I really don't want to go back. You know, I just noticed that if you pretend that there's nothing in the front of this guy's face, and it's just that black tube all the way around, yeah. it looks like you're playing as a candle. Oh, yeah. With a body. Uh-huh. Like, you got that flickering flame up there and a candle hood and a body on a candle. Candle man. Now, what would happen if I shot a lamp? I can't shoot a lamp. Just like in real life. Can't shoot a lamp. This game has terrible collisions. Awful That's because it's a PS1 game, and it can't load anything into memory. Like, it's just so primitive. Yeah. It's the way it loads anything. Like, if you walk over to the right there, you, yeah, look, you can see that save logo thing through the wall. Yeah. Like, it's not really fully behind it. Oh my god. Strange. Is this the end of Blasto? Wait, maybe if I die. Is this as far as Blasto goes? Is this the end of our hero? Stuck in the very first area? <laughs> Look at these panes of glass floating here. What is this? Maybe I'm supposed to destroy all those. What kind of crappy ass design place is this? Oh my god. It's an art house. <laughs> those are all individual paintings. They're all just paintings of nothing, by different artists. They're all worth about a million dollars. Stop. They're all called nothing, in different <laughs> languages. <laughs> you can still see the outline where they're supposed to be. That's intentional. It's gotta be. I'm, I'm not I mean, being sarcastic. Yeah, well, I mean, nothing has any kind of design philosophy. So whatever, it, might, it probably is, just whatever, just... It's whatever. Make mean. it look like anything, it doesn't matter. 200 terawatt charge up! Tetrawatt. Tetrawatt. It's tetrawatt. Are you sure? I think. Let's see, maybe this will tell you if you get this thing. That little pizza down there. No. You don't want it? It's not. Um... Alright. I'm not going... I'm not making any progress. Like <laughs> He can press it, but it does nothing. Bloody hell, man. Like, dude, like, what? Huh? What's going on, dude? Huh? Even? Literally, huh? Even? We're stuck. Okay, might as well go down here. Into the nothingness. <laughs> yeah, that's the story of my life. Might as well go into the nothingness. <laughs> Maybe this world is another planet's hell. That's the story of my life right there, kiddo. <laughs> There's something over there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Ominous. I'm sick of games that have stuff floating in the distance. You can't go to it. 
You mean you want to climb that mountain? I want to climb. All the way over there? I want to climb the mountain. You mean you want the design philosophy that takes uh, literally the phrase, uh, wide as an ocean but deep as a puddle? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you Todd Howard at Bethesda? No, but I am Todd Howard. <laughs> but you don't work at Bethesda? <laughs> no. Alright. Did you work on Follow 4? Ah, shit, I revealed my name. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, his real name is Todd Howard, guys. Yeah. Now my boss is gonna have my ass. Yeah. You play games for children? <laughs> you spent five million hours of your life, over five years, making kids' videos, making kiddie oh, videos. What's this? How many of these children's videos did you make? <laughs> 400? <laughs> and no one watched? Oh, You're fired. There's a whole new world out here. It's a whole new world. Babes! I gotta collect them. Did she just shoot me? What? You bitch! Maybe it's like a decoy. I thought we had a connection. I thought there was something here, like, going, but I guess not. Not 2D enough. I know, they're not flat enough. I'm going back too to the... Little, too little fur on their tails. I'm going back to the 2D planet. <laughs> I'm sick of these 3D worlds. <laughs> she, she was still struggling for a bit. God, they look strange. Ugh. Hey. Ugh. Not enough polygons on them. So is the goal to save all of the babes? I don't know. Perhaps. I, got I don't know, head. but I know next plan I'm going to is going to have a bit more polygons. <laughs> I don't like this too much. Yeah. Can't do without polygons. I hope there's a planet somewhere that's low, low poly. <laughs> a low poly world to land on. And you get there, and it's like a dirt ground. And it smells like dirt, but it's really hard, and it's all polygonal. And you don't know what's going on. And there's polygonal people walking around all creepy, like at a strange frame rate. You're 60 frames per second, or, you know, reality frames per second. And everyone else walking around like 15. And it gives you such a bad headache. Ugh. Oh man, I'm gold. I'm the Golden Kaiser now. Look at you go. I'm Booster Gold. They, something that really bugs me here is, is the combat. Yeah? There's no combat. There's just like stuff spawning in, shooting you, and you can't dodge anything. What do I do about this? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> do you know that uh, on Earth there's a uh, certain times of the year and in certain places on the planet, around, like, near the equator and stuff like that, where, uh, the sun is directly above the ground where you're standing. Oh, yeah. And it looks like you can't find where things are, because there's no shadows. Like, this, you take a picture of things, and it looks photoshopped. Oh, yeah. But it's, there's really, because the shadow is directly below it. Wow. Like, and it's, co it's covering its own shadow. It happens in Hawaii from time to time. Oh, yeah. And they got some strange name for it. I really want to see it sometime. It looks like the world's photoshopped. It would be akin to oh, going... Oh man, you can blast people's heads off. You'd feel like you were in a cheap video game. Like, from this era. Huh. Like, I do feel like I'm in a cheap video game. Yeah, oh. it's because you're... But we, uh, we can't get that here because we're too far away from the equator, I think. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Ah, shit! I didn't expect that. I really want to get a, a VR helmet and then rig it up so that it just records whatever is directly in front of me and then set it so its frame rate is at, like, 24. Yeah. And live like that at 24 frames. How long do you think I could go before I started getting sick or something? You're or I probably started permanently damaging my brain. You probably immediately permanently damage your brain. It's like <laughs> considering how much it, how hard it is to play a game like that, like it, 
Imagine just walking around like that. Like, well, yeah, you, your, your brain, brain would have to try to adapt. Uh -huh. So you would get so weird after a while that, like, you're running in a different hertz than everyone else. Uh -huh. So you're just, like, slower or something, but you react to things different. Oh, Don't mind me, guys, I'm at 24 frames. I can't run like you guys. I'm a little bit uh, shittier hardware here. Walk and burn, heat seek three. I stop getting that. <laughs> stop saying that every time it comes up. I have to. Uh, okay. And there's your punishment. Ah! A VR helmet will be screwed into your head. Son of bitch! That will record and play back to you the world around you at 10 frames per second. That will be your punishment. <laughs> oh. That sounds like a good punishment. It's solar powered too. Oh yeah. So, that's it. For the rest of your life, you will be living at 10 frames per second. Oh my god. Have fun. It's the PC Gamer's ultimate uh, punishment. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Have fun driving a car. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's very jerky. I don't know what to do. Oh god. I can shoot while I'm pushing in the wall. Hmm. Hmm. What a strange gun that is. It looks like a cigarette. <laughs> What's going on? Why is it? Why does this ray gun have a constant little flame on the end? How's that work? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Move around. Is it, are those stars right close to you? On the right there? What? Whoa, whoa, what? Why are they there? Look. Oh, yeah. That's not how stars work. This? And there's something up there, too. Yeah. Oh. What? What? What the hell? <laughs> I was hitting. I was hitting something. Can yeah. I just walk on the stars? I don't know. I know that's not what stars are like. Don't think that. <laughs> stars are really, really far away. And uh, how do you know? I just know. I just <laughs> you know. can't answer. I know. You can't answer. It's like how I can't prove that there was a moon landing. But uh, I know stars are really far away. Because, uh... They, oh yeah, they have detectable red and blue shift, right? In, uh, their coloring. What the fuck?! Yeah, and you can, uh, use a spectral analysis. All right, to figure out how far away things are. Oh, I get it. The corners of the platforms are represented by dots. And, uh, so they're not really stereos, thank God, because that's not how they work. Do not press that. Should I press it? I don't know. Oh. Uh, oh. It lied that time. That's cool. Stars are actually, like, you know, stars. Far away, like little. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, how do you know? For the most part, I mean, I'm sure maybe you're seeing some other things, like a a pulsar or a little nebula. Yeah, you don't know. But I mean, I'm sure a lot of them are stars. You know. Uh. Prove it. Mathematically, it's more apt for them to be stars. I think. How do we know they're not giant aliens? Every one of them? Yeah. Just looking at us. <laughs> it's more apt not to be. <laughs> yeah, but apt is in fact. I know. See, uh, whenever you put a like a telescope up there, like a Hubble telescope, taking pictures of far away places, they're still far away. They're not you didn't bring them any closer. So you can't really tell. How? Do you know? Say it with me, everybody. 
How do you know? How Is this a children's know? show? Yeah. Had to be scientific. How do you know? Remember, kids, just ask, how do you know? <laughs> how to be skeptical. How do you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh... I think radio emissions from these stairs... Fuck uh, you! ...would be, uh... I'm s I said that to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even make a claim yet. You said, well, a radio emission that's detected from these stairs is probably like concurrent with the stuff you'd uh, with the readings you get from our sun, right? Which is a star. Ah! So I think maybe you could say it like that. Double fuck this. This is terrible. It's just two platforms right next to each other. Why do stars, when we view them from the ground, twinkle? But when you go out into space, they don't twinkle anymore the atmosphere because of the atmosphere do you know what that's called the atmosphere no when the stars actually twinkle uh twinkle twinkle little star uh, it's scintillation oh it's scintillating i see uh, you ever hear people reviewers say scintillating about stuff that's what that is star twinkling scintillating oh, okay. they're scintillating i yeah. see so you knew that already uh yeah did you hear that in the radio I heard that on CBC radio. Yeah, I knew that's where you heard it. I, I already what? knew the answer. No, because I heard it on the radio, too. Oh. I already knew the answer. I knew it was scintillating. Because I actually read it in a book No, here. I not only did I not hear that on CBC radio, I didn't know it. Oh, okay. Well, it was on CBC radio. It was one of the questions on quirks and quarks. Oh, yeah. That show. Yeah, that... Uh, yeah, it has to do with... Uh, the, at the stratification of the atmosphere, right? Now, different atmospheric layers on our planet have different densities. So when the light goes through them, right, it'll pick up quality and, like, drop light quality as it goes through them. So when the light hits your eye, it's like a slideshow of times where the light was darker and dimmer. So when it plays that slideshow right fast, it's scintillating with the atmosphere. I see. And they stop it when you go up in this space. They quit. They quit it up. They quit doing that shit. They smarten right up as soon as you go out there and they just stay. How did I not press that? I don't know. I pressed that. I totally pressed that. You saw me press that. I didn't see anything. I ain't saying nothing. How are you doing that? That's yeah. weird. Why'd they let that happen? You can do this in a lot of games. Hmm. Try shooting. Wait. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna perform a, a speed running trick they call uh, dialogue storage. Yeah, I gotta whip out the uh, I gotta whip out the wind waker at the last second or something. Um, I bet you there's somebody that speed ran this. <laughs> I noticed uh, what's going on with speed running now that like awesome games done quick and whatever is oh that, uh, oops I keep forgetting people uh. They'll pick just some stupid meme game that came out of nowhere Whoops, that no uh, one's playing, right? So they can get the speed run easily. And they go to Awesome Games Done Quick and do their speed run, right? Yeah. Or something no one's playing or something that just came out or something stupid. Like this or something. Yeah. And uh, once they get their speed run done and they get some followers online, they gradually phase out the speed running. Yeah, they don't yeah. do anything anymore. Uh -huh. And they just have followers watching them for no reason. Uh -huh. I saw that a few times. Why did they do that? Like, hey guys, I'm uh, speed running deer hunt. Uh, yeah, I got the world record. So for, for, to kill the first deer. I think I haven't checked. Yeah, and <laughs> I just go to. He ran the game at awesome guys. Awesome games done quick. Hey, yeah, you guys can check me out on Twitter. YouTube, uh, Grinder, uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah. and then they just they they sub up, and then uh, a few months go by, and he just barely ever talks about speedrunning anymore. Yeah, and that's it. Hey guys, I'm dumbfuck95. Uh, it's happening. It's chill time here. Yeah. Welcome to Chill Time Podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Chill Time, bros. What's going on? We have many 
uh, in jokes that have developed before we develop followers and uh, yeah, and you can buy the you can sub up, and when you pay for a subscription on Twitch, you can use those little icons in the Twitch chat. Yeah, a lot of them are incomprehensible, but you know they make sense, guys. I swear. But uh, all the cool kids will know what's up. Yeah, you gotta be a cool kid to get this one. Mm -hmm. That's that's what we call our subs, cool kids. Yeah. Because everyone has a name for their cool for their subs. And no, we will never be going back to Awesome Games Done Quick. <laughs> we will never speed run anything ever again. Yeah. But thanks for asking. <laughs> We're all done with Deer Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> 2005 season. Which is our most popular video. Also, I noticed that fast food isn't tasty anymore. They they really, like, um... I don't like it. I don't like it much anymore. They, I don't like uh, McDonald's anymore, really. Yeah, they they don't put enough salt in stuff because it's too unhealthy. Thing. Like they, uh, people are wising up to how much salt and like shitty cheap fats and shit that they put in their food, and they started like uh, just putting less in it without improving their food. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I like going to Subway. Uh, and whatever pizza place exists at the time there, and uh, that's it really right now. I find lately that if you just go to like a fast food oh, burger place like McDonald's now, I just don't want to finish it sometimes. Huh. Like I get the fries. And I don't even want to finish them. For some reason, they're just like, why did I get this? Because they're not pure, pure salt anymore. They're just like, they're they're not junk food anymore. It's more like just shitty food. I think that's it. <laughs> how come there isn't a? You know how there's a Mexican food. A restaurant that went full mainstream fast food like Taco Bell, right? Yeah. And Chipotle. Those restaurants that just, oh, they took it. like one thing and then w took it to the next level of fast food, right? Yeah. How come there isn't a Chinese food restaurant like that? Hmm. How come you don't got like China Bell or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, th you that sounds like an interesting idea. Well, see, all Chinese foods are, uh, kind of quick. Uh, some of them have like, uh, uh, some of them have buffets and some of them have just quicker items. And if you wanted to treat it like a fast food restaurant, you could. Yeah, but I mean, why isn't there like that one restaurant yet that's like the uh -huh. best or something and like becomes the big one? Like, uh, I don't know what you call it, like... Hey, it cut out my game over screen. Like, what happened? Rising Sun, yeah. or something like this kind of catch-all thing. For yeah, yeah. Asia eras, areas, or maybe McDonald's. Hose. Yeah, here's the uh, Sega Genesis wireless controller. Uh, there's the uh, part that plugs into the Sega Genesis. Plugs into both controller ports like that. There's the uh, little receiver. And there's the little transmitter on the Sega Genesis wireless controller. It takes batteries here, like a remote. And it works through line of sight with the receiver. So you can't go playing this you know, your hand here, or around a corner, or underneath a bed sheet. You actually have to be facing the Genesis, which kind of sucks. But, it's based pretty closely on the standard six button Genesis controller. Except the wireless one is a little bit chunkier. And a little bit thicker. And the back of the wireless one has a sticker 
and the normal one does not. It's got the Sega logo. Supports two controllers. On the bottom of the wireless controller you can select if this one is the first or the second player on there. Uh, it's held together with screws. <laughs> um, how does it work? Uh, it works fine. It works exactly like a normal Sega Genesis controller, but you just have to be facing it. Yeah, but have you done like... Uh... Have you like recorded your gameplay and did a, and slowed it down and figured out how many frames of lag there are? No, yeah. I did not do that, but you know maybe one day I will. Yeah, you better do it. Do it now. Right now? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know this is the this is the show where we're supposed to assess things, but sometimes you just gotta take somebody's word for it. This guy's got experience backing him up, so... I don't know if I would buy this today. I mean, if you're really keen on saving wire space and not tripping over wires, it might be cool. But today, somebody has probably made a third-party one where it's actually uh, Bluetooth or something. Like, people did that for the Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah. Stuff like that. Like, you can get, an, an, like, a homemade one that's a lot better now. Mm -hmm. Is this official one, like I said, you need line of sight. I don't really dig that too much. Yeah. And uh, this is very important, but this particular one is in good, really good condition. Yeah, it's almost unused. Yeah. It feels brand new. Now, if you're, if you're thinking to pick one up, just think about that, how yeah. good this one is. Think about how good our one is. Yeah. And then choose, make up your mind, if you're willing to buy one for, like, however much it costs now. I do have the two controllers with it. Interestingly, in order to use this, it takes up two slots. So both people have to have a wireless one. Yeah. You can't play one wireless and one not. That's weird. But That's probably just the, the only way they could uh, get this design to work. Because this is a chunky little box and it's going to take up a lot of space. Yeah, it's a chunkster. It's a, ch it's, it's a chunkster indeed. Like, this could be the... Now, why haven't they made a controller that plugs into two slots and just doesn't have a wire and you play it like this? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they should. Where you're just like... I'm playing on me console. And it's plugged in just like this and you sit and right on the floor in front of it. And then you have one of those flip-top TVs that plugs into the back and you're trying to <laughs> hold up the whole thing. <laughs> I should do that. I should exist by now. Yeah. Maybe when the NX comes out, that'll be what it's like. Yeah.